Health regeneration in most Roblox games is handled by a script automatically placed into each character upon respawning, so I'll be showing you two different ways that you can disable this in your game. First, make sure you have the Explorer enabled from the View tab at the top left of the screen. Next, open up the Starter Player, click the plus button next to Starter Character Scripts and add a script inside. You don't need to change anything with the script aside from changing its name to Health with a capital H. Once you've done that, you can play test the game to see if it worked. Also, if you're interested in creating a custom health bar, check out the card at the top right of the screen as I demonstrate how you can do that in the next tutorial. As you can see from the bottom of the screen, my health is staying the same at 25 and it is not regenerating like it did before adding that script in. Also, if we go on over into the workspace and open my character up, we can open up the script called health and see that there is nothing inside. This is because the script that we added into the starter character scripts replaced the one that is there by default. Make sure that it has the exact same name and the exact capitalization in case it's not working for you. If that still doesn't work for some reason, you can go on over to the server script service, click the plus button and add a script inside. You can then either type up the code you can see on screen or find this as a model in the important link section of the description. However, I'll still be explaining how each line in this script works just in case you're interested. On line one, we're creating a variable called players and we're making it equal to the players service which contains a list of everyone inside the game. We are doing this so that we can check on line three whenever someone joins the game. So here we reference the player service from line one, and we have an event set up that will listen for whenever a new player is added to the service or whenever someone joins the game. Whenever that happens, we are going to connect it to or basically activate a brand new function. And because this function is activated whenever someone joins the game, we will be able to reference the player that joined. Afterward, we'll be able to listen for whenever that player's character respawns or is added into the game. And that will again be connected to a brand new function where we can reference their character. On line six, we are creating a new variable called script check, which we are using to find something inside of the character that is called health. This will be used on line eight to check, okay, if the script can find anything in the character, or at least on the first layer of the character that is called health, and that item also happens to be a script, then we are going to destroy it on line nine. And this will make it so that whenever someone respawns, that script will automatically be deleted every single time. Now to test that this works, I'm going to open up the starter player and make sure I get rid of the health script that we created earlier. I'm then going to keep this one, which will remove the health script from the character, disabled for right now just to show you that it will work later on. So I'm going to go in here and play test. And if I take damage, I will regenerate health. So as we can see here, I am regenerating health. And if I go into the workspace, I can open up my character and see the one that is provided by Roblox. But now if I click stop at the top, I select the script and I uncheck the disabled button, this script will now be activated when the game starts up. So if I click play here at the top and I go over and try to take any damage, I will not regenerate health. And if I open up the workspace, go into my character, that script will no longer exist. And since you've made it this far, post a comment down below to suggest what tutorial I should create next, along with any feedback about what I could do better to make these tutorials more enjoyable and easier for you to learn from. Remember to like the video and subscribe if this helped, along with checking out my Roblox Studio tutorial series that will have dozens of other useful videos through the card at the top right of the screen or via the playlist in the description below. Anyway, thank you guys for sticking around. Hope that you have a great rest of your day, night, whatever time it is there, and I hope to see you next time. So bye bye.